Shalom, giving all praise and all glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, and double honor to the elder apostles, elder bishops, and brothers on the great millstone. Salutations to the whole field. Like this is your brother, I, Bayamia, here to share my lesson. And our uh, title of this lesson is going to be Two Third Israelites Doesn't Understand the Spirituality of Oppression. Now, uh, Although, you know, oppression, right, you know, you may call it slavery, manipulation and stuff, it attacks your body, it beats you down. But most importantly, it um, breaks down your mind, you know, it breaks down, you know, your spirit. It has you thinking uh, a certain way. Now, you can leave physical oppression, uh, slavery, right? But if you have been oppressed in the mind, if that oppression has not been removed by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it doesn't matter where you go, you're gonna carry that uh, oppression uh, from state to state or wherever you go. You know what I'm saying? And the best form of oppression is the oppression that you don't see. You're oppressed. But you don't see, you know, the the state, the degenerative state that you're in. And that's a state that two thirds of all people are in. And uh, inspiration for this lesson is, um, you know, few people that I spoke with, you know, because I drive um, tractor trailer um, by trade, you know, so I have a chance to speak to quite a few number of people. And you know, when I talk to them about, you know, the living and work conditions and stuff and, you know, everybody, you know, you know, we're like uh, an increase. And um, these jobs, are, uh, they are raising their course of operation, but they are not trickling that down, you know, to the workers, to the laborers. Um, you know what I'm saying? And... They know what's going on carnally, but, you know, spiritually, they don't understand, you know, why they are being, you know, oppressed. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to um, do this quick lesson, you know, on it, you know, but the two thirds wouldn't understand, you know, what is going on. But, you know, through the Yahweh Shai, he had used his um, prophets to tell all people what is and what is. Uh, why things are and the way things are going to be. Alright, so the first portion of scripture I want to start with is in the book of Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4. And it says, Whereas Edom are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And that's the part I wanted to to, uh, to get into and it says um, border uh, what does that mean territory you know of darkness so wherever Esau goes and he set up shop right sin and wickedness is going to ensue and this is what all people don't understand the reason why you're not getting uh raises even though he knows the cost of living is going up he knows that utilities has gone up he knows that to repair your home is going up he knows that the cost of repairing your vehicle is going up right he knows that the price of gas is going up but he will continue to keep you in that um that stagnant state right or stagnant uh wages why because he is the wicked um upon the earth right and he would seek to further oppress his brother uh jacob 
and says, continuing on, it says, and the people against whom the Lord had great indignation, so great anger, so the Lord is going to destroy them with that anger. So all people don't understand, the tutors of people don't understand the spiritual uh, aspect of why they're going through what they're going through. They think that, you know, if I invest in this stock, um, you know, if I have multiple side gigs, if I work harder, instead of working 50, 60 hours a week, you know, I'm going to try to work 80 hours a week. But Esau has snares and nets, with, even with these taxes that he's going to put here down further in a hole. You understand? And all people do these things because they trust um, in oppression. You know, and I speak on that in the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 12, man. Uh, it says, Wherefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, because he despised the word and trust in oppression and perverseness, that is something um, forward and stay thereon. You know what I'm saying? So the men, certain with the elder apostles on down, that stand on the highways and the byways that do these uh, video epistles um, warning all people you know in in real life when they see these men inside the highways they scoff and they despise the world and when they see them on the internet you know they leave derogatory comments you know comments of hate you know telling lies you know you know spreading wickedness you know what i'm saying no or people do this thing because they trust in oppression you know what i'm saying and one of the reasons why they are feeling the way that they are feeling again it goes back you know to the wicked uh in rulership you know it says this is Proverbs 29 and 2 it says when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear the rule the people mourn you know what i'm saying so our lord is not here reading it and when he is reading there'll be a total night and day are different there will be peace there would be righteousness there would be order uh, especially for the nation of israel but the wicked which is esau edom and the other nations right now are in rulership uh no one has peace he, peace has been withdrawn uh from the earth the mud is gone you know what i'm saying but um this word is is precious only to the elect right now and then in the kingdom the whole nation of israel is gonna receive it so when our people the two thirds in oppression they hear this word they scoff at it because it is not given to them um at that particular moment this is the book of luke chapter 8 and verse 10 says and he said unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom but to others in parable right which is a, a comparative saying of sim of uh, similitude that seeing they might not see and hearing they might not understand so all people is gonna see these things they're going to see you know the brothers bringing on charts doing breakdowns and it's going to go in one ear and out the other even though they have ears to hear and eyes to see they wouldn't see it why because the holy spirit is not upon them right and the preceding uh script here as we go into that this is uh first corinthians chapter two and uh and verse 9 it says but as it is written i had not seen no ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man many a mind right the things which the most high had prepared for them that love him and who are they that love him first and foremost on this side right now is the elect and then extended onto the nation of um you know of israel right so the tutus are not gonna get these things in their heart in their lab in their mind if the spirit of the lord had not 
um, uh, had not done it, you know, because, you know, he said in the in the last part, right? He says the Lord had prepared something for them that that love Him, right? Because there's a time and a season uh, for everything. So everything that happened, the 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 different um, uh, 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 oppression, the different you know under Egypt, under Babylon, all that you know is done for the elect at the end. Prophecy, the transatlantic slavery, all these different prophecies are done for the elect at the end. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes three and one. It says, "To everything there is a season and a time." To every purpose under the, the heaven, right? So all of these things are done, um, you know, for His sake, you know. But the Most High, He speaks through the the prophets, and these are the things that uh, two thirds and the other two thirds of all people and the other nation don't understand. They see these men on the highways and the byways with rough garments. They are not uh, clean shaven. Um, they have, you know, beards. You know, men of varying um, colors. You may have Ephraim, right? You may have uh, Manasseh uh, teaching. You may have uh, Judah, and they see these men, and you know, they look down on them. Why? Because they don't have a suit. They are not clean cut, and they don't speak as men of the world speak. But this is uh, Amos chapter three. And verse 7, and it says, Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants and prophets. Right? And when he revealed these um, secrets unto the prophets, the prophets then go and instruct uh, kings and the people under him as to what the Lord is going to do so that they could you know, be prepared. But two-thirds of all people have not accepted this because they have trusted in the power of their own will and in the power of society and government and i'll end with that in the book of isaiah chapter uh, 36 and 6 it says lo thou trustest in the staff of a broken reed right as like a, a walking stick a broken stick or a support a person that needs that support they cannot walk off or move around without it right so when it's broken is there's no help so you would fall down it says wherein where on if a man lean it will go into his hand and pierce it so is pharaoh king of egypt and salakia so is pharaoh king of egypt to all that trust in him our people is going to fall down uh, by continuing to trust in this broken way, aka, you know, America, aka Babylon, uh, the great, you know, but like it said, you know, eyes had, uh, I had not seen in First Corinthians chapter 2 and um, in verse 9. So this word is not for everybody. So be glad and be grateful of this word that is still on the internet because the farming of the word is um is actually here and it's going to get worse as the days uh progress so lower than you are edified you know by this uh short lesson all right so repent and endure until the end this is your brother rai by yamya shalom